Hi guys, my name is Caitlin. Today we're going to extract some DNA from a strawberry. So let's get started. So right now we have our bag of strawberries. I'm going to put that to the side. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a cup and we're going to fill it with two tablespoons of water. So right now I'm making a solution that we're going to add to this bag of strawberries. And over time that will then extract the DNA from the strawberries. We have one, two. And then we're gonna add a couple squirts of liquid to soap. Okay. And then we're gonna mix it with this toothpick. Actually, no, a straw, a spoon. And I want to make sure that I'm not creating any bubbles, so I have to do this very gently. Okay, so that's mixed, and then we're going to add a pinch of salt. Pretty generous amount. Okay. Now we're going to stir this until the salt is dissolved. I have to be careful again to make sure I don't create any bubbles. It's okay if you create one or two, but you want to keep it pretty bubbleless. That's a word. Okay, so it seems like our salt is pretty dissolved. We're gonna put that to the side and then we're gonna mash our strawberries. I'm just gonna use my palms, my fingers, mash it up so they are not in any form really. We wanna get them pretty mushed and into as much of a liquid form as we can. A little bit of air. So just mash this up. And if you guys want to, if you have all the materials that I have, um, I'll put the link below um, in the comments or the caption of the website I'm using with the directions and the material list. So if you guys want to, you can feel free to get these materials and do them at home at your own time. So this seems pretty, pretty mash. Okay, now we're going to add our solution. So we have our mass strawberries in our solution. And we're going to mix them again. Try not to create any more bubbles. It's a little hard this part, but do your best. Okay. So next we're gonna take a cup we're going to use a coffee filter as a sort of funnel. And this part's a little tricky, so do it slowly. I did it too fast when I was practicing and it spilled over, so let's hope it doesn't happen again. So I added the strawberries in the bag into this cup to make it a little easier to pour into. So right now Miss Claudia is going to hold the coffee filter in place, and then I'm going to add the strawberries. And like I said before, we only want the liquid in the cup. So that's why we have this filter to mash out the big particles, these big chunks right here. So if you can see it's slowly dripping and we'll just wait a little longer for it to finish dripping out and to get all the liquid. We're going to put it in a different cup. 
And what we're gonna do is put approximately two times as much liquid in, of alcohol into this cup. So, just gonna eyeball it. That seems to be about twice or a little more as much. That's okay. And what we're gonna do is we wanna create two different layers. So we want the strawberry solution on the bottom and the alcohol on top. We don't want them to mix. So we gotta do this slowly. So we're just gonna slowly pour the alcohol into this cup and I'm gonna let it run down the side. So it creates the second layer. I don't know if you can see it happening. But if you can see, there's a little bit of alcohol on top and then the strawberry on the bottom. Okay. So if we wait a little bit, we can see that there is some DNA actually forming on top. It's little white strands. Yep. Okay. And that's actually strawberry DNA. So we can get it out, actually. It's a physical thing that we can touch. And if you don't know what DNA is, everybody has DNA. Every living organism has DNA. So this plant was once alive, and DNA makes us who we are. We all have different DNA, little DNA strands. And so the strawberry had DNA, and that's what made it a strawberry. So. I'm trying to get it on a toothpick so you can see the DNA. It looks like just little globs, but it's strawberry DNA. So yeah, a little fun at home activity. It might seem really complicated, but anyone can do it at home. So. Thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.